Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing an updated what I eat in a day after so many of you guys requested me to do this video. So let's just jump right into what I had for breakfast and I love these overnight oats. They are amazing. And all you're going to need is oatmeal, blueberries or your favorite fruit, chia seeds, yogurt and almond milk. This is so easy to make and it's actually really filling. So I like to start off by adding my yogurt, then a full tablespoon of chia seeds and then my oatmeal and then you're gonna add a little bit of your favorite fruits you don't have to use blueberry you can use anything that you have and then finish off with adding a little bit of almond milk and as pretty as it looks when it's not mixed in you do have to completely mix it in together and then leave it in the fridge overnight and this is the perfect breakfast for on the go that is super filling so you will love this if you try it I promise so for lunch, I actually had vegetarian tacos, which is actually something I make all the time because it's just so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you can kind of use whatever you have. But for today's tacos, I used brown rice and beans, tortilla, of course. I used spinach because I didn't have um, lettuce, but you can use any greens that you have. I also added tomatoes and cucumbers and a little bit of guacamole. You're just going to start off with your rice and beans and then add all the veggies on top. And then I do like to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I do also like to add a little bit of paprika to give it a little bit of kick. And that is it. This is such an easy lunch and it's so delicious. Delicious. Now moving on to some of my favorite snacks. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know I love guacamole. I make it multiple times a week. It's easily one of my go-to snacks. So for today's guacamole, I'm going to be adding my avocado, onion, tomato, cilantro, garlic, jalapeno. And I used lemon because I didn't have lime, but I do recommend using lime instead. And you're just going to add your avocado in a bowl and then add all of the ingredients that I mentioned into it and then just mix it all up by adding a little bit of salt and pepper as well for taste. Now the best part about making guacamole is that it's so easy to customize to your liking and your taste. So if you guys don't like some of the ingredients that I'm using, you don't have to add it. You can take away or add anything that you like, which is the best part besides the fact that it's so delicious. Another snack that I love eating throughout the day is raw almonds. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to. Once you actually acquire the taste, you will get hooked on these and these are just so good for you. So highly recommend raw almonds. And now moving on to one of my favorite drinks. So you guys know I am obsessed with club soda and I just love adding a little bit of mint, a little bit of lemon because it just gives it the most refreshing, delicious taste ever. This is also a great way to drink more water. So if you guys don't drink enough water, just add um, a little bit of mint, a little bit of lemon or any other fruit that you guys like and just add it to your water. It gives it such a nice subtle flavor and you almost don't even think that you're drinking water. So this is a quick habit for all of you guys who struggle with drinking water highly recommend doing this you guys will love it and then for my dinner I actually did not film myself making this but this is a cauliflower pizza which is actually so simple to make so if you guys want me to create like a full blog post or even like a full video on how I made this step by step let me know in the comments below but it is so easy to make I was so surprised and so good to eat also it's just such a great alternative to actual pizza because the whole crust is made with cauliflower and low-fat mozzarella cheese and then it just has tomatoes so it's super super simple and I love it. All right, guys, for a dessert, I have been loving eating the Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered raisins because I feel like I always need something sweet after dinner. So a few pieces of these dark chocolate covered raisins is all I need. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys want me to do more of what I eat in a day, let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.